Hey Dreamers, I'm Bryce, and I don't know what my favorite Metallica song is. Could it be The Four Horsemen? Let's find out. Cue the intro! So Ted, give it to me now! For the best Metallica song! Yay! Four Horsemen, second track from Kill Em All. Uh, I'm excited to get into this one. I've always loved this song, but again, I'm rating these songs with, uh, I'm trying to go with little bias as possible, I'm trying to think of this as a musician, uh, I'm trying to put myself as a first, first time listener, how it fits in with the rest of the songs, uh, and uh, of course we're grading it by lyrics, we're grading it by instrumentation, we're grading by composition, we're grading uh, by memorability and by emotional response. So without further ado, The Four Horsemen. Now that's a punch for a beginning. Now both guitars. I like those offbeat crunches. And we have a completely different riff. Right it is, isn't it? Okay, uh, I said this in the last video, but uh, it's so funny how much the ride symbol gets used to kill them all. I'm excited. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep watching. I'm gonna see. Does it get used in every song? I don't know. I don't think it does. But on Kill 'Em All. Does he use the ride symbol in every song? No spoilers. Let's find out together. <laughs> Come back tomorrow to find out if he does it in the next song. But uh, there's a lot of ride symbol, and it's so weird because he never uses it live. He stopped using an, a ride symbol completely. He took it off the kit. He doesn't even use it anymore. Uh, so that's really interesting. This song is also, uh, from a drumming perspective, um, it's evolved a lot over the years. I have the benefit of having, uh, I've seen them live so many times, and I've heard this song live, I've seen a lot of live videos of this song, I have the benefit of knowing how it's evolved, and all things considered, the drumming in the song is kind of boring compared to what he does live. I mean, I know that he's gotten older, some things are a little harder for him to play, but it's kind of boring at this point. I don't know, let's continue. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's but it's like slow, it's like a half time. You've been dying to stay you apart. No, it's all been planned. I like the juxtaposition between those riffs that is very like, it's kind of gallopy, right? It's kind of evoking that horseman kind of feel. Uh, but then, then the verse riffs have that it's got that fast picking that they're known for. Um, and it's just, it's just kind of a fun balance. You, you get one and you're, you're bobbing and then they do the other one and you're like, oh, I'm bobbing even more. Let's continue. James makes me laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could tell we're in the 80s. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody's like trying to like he you could you could tell he's trying to be like machismo like I can scream. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like you could tell it's not really who he is, but he's trying to like put it out there that he is. I don't know. It's I can feel I can feel the beginner in this. Um, because not beginner, but you know what I mean, like the first band, you know, the the the, the new band, like ooh, we're cool, we're a new hip band, we play fast. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it's funny. I love him. I love him to death. Uh, but that that young James, ah, yeah, 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 is just funny to me. 
I've never been into screaming, but... Eh. Maybe we'll knock them for it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I gotta stop here again. Uh, this is great. I talk a lot about patterns, change-ups. Uh, I love pattern breaks. We have this pattern of a uh, main riff, and then a chuggy riff, and then a held-out riff for the chorus. Um, and now we have the do 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 and now we get to the galloping, right? The song changes completely, completely. What's going on? Oh no, the horses are coming over the hill. Run! Go this way! Go down too! Go this way! Go this way! These things are interesting too, because they... You know, a lot of a lot of bands do things in fours or threes. Like they'll do uh, the thing about the Enter Sandman riff. Do 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 do. The fourth time is usually the change, or you'll have one riff that repeats four times. Uh, in the Kill 'Em All days, they're doing a lot of like eight time repeating, uh, eight times repeating. So uh, I just think it's interesting. The section, uh, I think, by today's standards, we would have wanted to go into a verse already. Uh, but by back then, we just wanted to jam. Uh, it kind of, it's kind of padding the song a little bit. Uh, but it, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to knock it. It's still fun. This has always been my favorite part of the song. Like live versions. Completely new riffs. I do have to say, you know, the song has a very gallopy sort of, you know, and then we get the do 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 do. It kind of has a more straight feel. It's less uh, less gallopy and more just kind of straight driving. And I, I think if I was going to picture the song in like a movie or a music video or something, uh, I see the like the galloping part with the hooves coming over and we're running away. And then this part is like because it's straight, it's like. More of like a do, 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 do. like you're looking at like you're you're against the wall like oh god are they gonna find me right you're looking for the horseman uh, to show up and like don't not me not me not me but now is your time for you and your spawn you know we got a nice little build on the base. Fun thing to point out there is when they're doing it live, they do an extra couple of hits. 
uh, because the riff doesn't line up the same way. Uh, when they're doing it live, they're doing do 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 but with the hits, but then they stop doing the riff part and they just do the bomb, 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 because they got everybody going, hey, 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 and that's a really cool thing, uh, but it adds a couple of hits because it, it just feels better to have those extra two in there. So just a fun fact. Um, that whole midsection to me, <laughs> Uh, kind of, you know, I'm not really into it. It's kind of sweet home Alabama-ish. It breaks the feel of the song. It's something new, and you know I like new and interesting things, but um, I don't think it was interesting enough. I feel like it kind of crashed the mood, and it kind of, like, I kind of got bored a little bit. So I'm glad to be back into the main part of the song, but you're going to lose some points for that. It is a high end. I do like that pick slide. I gotta say, I don't know what that sound is. It sounded like it was a bass, uh, a, like a real low, but it like had a really cool effect to it. And like, it's like the gurgling of your belly, like, oh God, pestilence got to me, or whatever the, whatever the horseman is. Oh, famine, there it is, famine <laughs> got to me. And now we got the outro. I like live how that just goes right into the solo. This kind of, we've already heard this riff. Back to the main riff, but instead of half time, we're going straight again. Oh, and we're just done. We're just, I just, banner, banner, but I, do they hold it out live? I guess I'm used to, bah, 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 bah. but maybe it is just, yeah, I'm, I mean, obviously it's just a hard stop, but okay, that's, that's a way to end the song. We did it. We listened to the song. Let's go to the rating. Lyrics, how'd they do? Well, the song is about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, I haven't read the book of Revelations. Have you read the book of Revelations? I don't know how the world's going to end, but I guess if they did, then now we know. Uh, so I don't know. I guess the lyrics are interesting in that they're telling an, uh, a story that isn't, I mean, coming from Hit the Lights, which is just, oh, we're awesome and we play fast. This is more like, hey, some doom and gloom is coming around the corner. And I know it's got that classic metal, like, watch out or you're going to die. You know, there's just still that metal screaming, ah, yeah, yeah, you're going to die and all that stuff. Um, but lyrically, um, I don't know. I think, I think the main thing that pulls it down for me. So if, if two is my baseline, right, two is the middle, um, I want to bump it up to three because it has... Uh, a story to it. It's interesting. There's the, we have details, uh, especially uh, that middle part after the galloping when he goes into time has taken his toll on you, uh, the lines that crack your face. Um, all that part, that section where they're listing off the horsemen is really cool and it's really interesting. And um, you know the chorus isn't like the verses and the chorus. They don't have a lot of like rhymy, memorable rhymy stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna give it that extra point for the creativity. We went outside of the classic, I love you, I hate you, and um, we're awesome. So we got, we got, we're gonna give them a point for creativity for going into the apocalypse. Let's give them three for the lyrics. 
Instrumentation, how did they do? Uh, as always, it's, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of crap from the internet for giving Metallica anything less than four on every song. But I have to be honest, I have to be honest. I know their catalog, I know what's coming. Uh, and of all of the songs out there, I wanna give them points uh, for doing a lot of cool stuff, but I also want to take stuff. I want to point. Uh, I want to take points away because of the showing off. Anytime it feels like they're just soloing for the sake of soloing, um, I don't give people credit for that. I want you to earn that solo. I want you to earn. I want the song to feel like a unit, and that whole middle section is just. Ugh. Um, and so that brings it down. Also, the drums are just so meh, just boring. Like nothing really happens. They're just boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. And, and he, he's not like emphasizing the hits in the way that he does in other songs. And it's just kind of just meh to me. So it's good. They play well. I still love it. I still love the song. I still want to cover it someday. Uh, but uh, from an all around perspective, instrumentation, going to give it a two. Composition, how do they do? How does it flow together? We have a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then like bridge, an extended interlude, and then back to another verse, chorus, uh, and then an outro. Um, structurally fine, uh, there's no real interesting time signature changes. There's sort of a tempo change in the middle, which is really cool, like galloping riff is awesome. Uh, the verse about the four horsemen is really cool, but man, that just, Oh, Sweet Home Alabama, really? I don't know, I haven't seen which song came first, but man, it just do 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 It just feels so hokey and just unnecessary. It really brought the mood down for me. And so I, I gotta knock them for it. If two is my baseline, because of that whole middle section, and they don't even play it live, they know themselves that it's not good. So they took it out. But as far as the record version goes, I'm gonna knock a point. That's a one. Memorability. How memorable is the song? I don't know. I remember it because I love this band and I love everything they do, but also it, it, there's nothing, there's no real hook to the song, right? The hook is choose your fate and die, or according to the live versions, it's the second half of the chorus. Um, On through the dead of night, with the Four Horsemen Ride, or Choose Your Fate and Die. And the only reason I know that is because I've read the lyrics and I've sang along to it multiple times. If I was at a concert and I was hearing this for the first time, there is no lyric uh, that really stands out as a, oh, remember the song that goes, you know, nothing really stands out. Musically, however, that galloping riff really, really is awesome. And that middle section with, before the Sweet Home Alabama part, it's really cool. Um, the gallopy, you know, it's kind of fun. Um, so to me, it doesn't really sway either way. It's not forgettable. It's not memorable. So I'm going to put it right smack dab in the middle. Two points. Lastly, emotional response. And this is really complicated for me because of course I'm jamming along. I'm listening with a smile on my face. I love the song. I love the artist. Um, but emotionally, I cannot get over that whole Sweet Home Alabama part. It just feels wrong. I was having a good time and the mood just sank. Dun, 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 dun. Where are we? What are we doing here? Did I get lost? Is this the wrong? Am I listening to metal still? I don't know. It just felt weird and wrong. And I think that the feeling of that really dragged down the song. And then to go from there back to the galloping riff for another four or eight measures, and then just go into a verse, it just felt like an unearned transition. It just felt like you sank everything and now it's kind of ho-hum, this isn't the chorus, I don't remember this part because it's new. And it just doesn't really stick to me. So emotional response, I gotta knock on some points there too. One. So the grand total for the Four Horsemen is nine points. Uh, this is much lower than Hit the Lights, uh, which is surprising to me because I've always liked The Four Horsemen, but I think that's because I like the live version the most. Uh, and if this was the live version, you can rest assured that it would probably have been a higher score. But 
Uh, I said that I was going to rate the songs with honesty. I was going to rate them as unbiased as I can, even though I guess there's some heavy bias against that middle section. Uh, but nine points is the total, which means currently in the lead is Hit the Lights, and in second place is The Four Horsemen. So, what's your score? Tell me how you would rate it based on this same system, and put it in the comment below, and hit that subscribe button to tune in tomorrow for Motor Breath. Thanks for watching.